so we are trying to read the data from the excel isn't it yes so to read the data from the excel a few things what we have discussed in the previous classes first we need to give access to workbook this is your workbook test data new in that we have multiple sheets and i want to move on to the sheet three and if you want to read the data from this particular cell then i need to provide data of row i need to provide row number and as well as column number okay these are the things what we need to do so let's start with this okay so it's a combination of java plus apache poi okay so very first line what i have written is string excel path or ex path location of my excel file this is excel file location i have taken it a variable so that i can use it whenever required okay this first step next to access your workbook internally we need to use file input stream which comes from java.io file input stream is a class create an object for it fis is equal to new file input stream and provide the path that's nothing but ex pth perfect so this will give access to that particular workbook so now comes your apache pui related classes first I have given you two different syntaxes for xls and xlsx this is xlsx and first we need to get access to the workbook so x s s f workbook create an object for it wb is equal to new x s s f workbook provide this as an argument for this okay so this is c xsf workbook is coming from apache you can see that so this is a very first step next i need to get access to the sheet so workbook is object what we have created workbook in place of wb you can take anything so here wb represents workbook so i have taken wb you can take work b workbook whatever you want you can take it so wb dot object dot first we need to get the access of sheet get sheet so case sensitive you need to provide the sheet name sheet 3 is a sheet name first what i want to get access to so sheet 3 after going on to the sheet 3 it's a string we need to give it in quotes dot get the row so what's the row you want third row but we need to provide in terms of index index in the sense first row becomes zero this is one and this is two okay so if i say index it start from zero so first row will be zero second will be one and third will be two get row so get the second row so system will get the whole second row that is nothing but row three technically in that what we want we want this as an output so it's in a column called e okay even this also we need to provide in terms of index so a is 0 b is 1 c is 2 d is 3 and d is 4 so column is 4 so column is represented as a cell in apache poi dot cell so row and column makes the cell right so dot get cell
four, right? So after getting the cell, get the value in it. Get string cell value. So whatever the value is there in that particular cell, this command will bring that value. So after that, whatever the value you are going to get, take that into your variable. And obviously it's a string. Now let's write it into console. Very simple. Okay, so I'm repeating it. First, this is the Excel file location, workbook location. Then using file input strip, I have invoked it. Next, XSF workbook is an Apache POIs class. We have created an object for workbook and get the access of workbook. Then using your workbook, we have got the access of sheet three. And in that, we have moved on to the second row, fourth column, that is indexes and particular cell. So row and column we have given. So it's nothing but a cell information we have provided. In that cell, I'm asking you to bring the value from that particular cell and store it into a variable. And I'm asking you to print that variable, simple, okay? Now, before running uh, with the test, few things you need to understand. So if you feel this is your test data doc, okay? So what is test data document? Where we have a data to test that particular application, right? Yes, so every time if you have a test data document, okay? Maybe you have created it or developer has given you or your team management has given you, whatever the thing it may be back up it, okay? Take a backup of test data document. Next thing, while creating a test data document, make sure to make it as simple as possible. Don't make too much colors into it, too much fonts into it, okay? So system may not read it in some cases. Next, point three, while running it, make sure to close your Excel file. There are chances that your Excel file may corrupt. And if Excel file get corrupts, you can't retrieve it back again. So that's the reason we ask you to take a backup every time. Okay, these are the things what we need to remember. Now, so for the read data also, we need to close it, but it's not such mandatory, your, your test will run. Okay, but in the organization, whenever you are running the test, it's we request you to close the Excel file and run the test. But as of now, okay, it's not a problem for me, I'm running it. For reading the data, for writing the data, absolutely you need to close it, else it will not. Running the test, it will get the access to the workbook, it will read the data and it will give you the value in the console. There we go. Right, so if I want to read this data, assume that selenium, then what is the row? Zero, right? Index zero, what is the column? Zero, one, two. If I write zero comma two, it will bring that selenium onto the screen. Zero is the row. You can read multiple lines also, but you need to repeat that same statement. So I need to read Selenium along with that even I uh, assume that I want to read uh, some other value, okay? So assume that I want to read this data, okay? Along with this Selenium, I want to read this data also. So you can see that what is the row number? Index is four, fourth row, right? And zero, one, two, three, third column, according to the index. So again, you need to repeat all these activities. WB dot, get the access to the sheet. Sheet three, get the row.
get cell dot get that string cell value type that into a variable So say the rest and run the rest. You can see that. So that is how we can read the data from the Excel. This is all about reading the data, okay?